Hey guys, it's Jessica. Today I'm going to do uh, a few things. First off, I'm going to show you um, how I have set up my uh, traveler's notebook for the month of March since I have not uh, made a video um, since we moved into the month of March. And I know it's already mid-March, almost coming up towards the end of it, but I just thought I would show you guys what I have done. Um, I just have had a hard time uh, figuring out what days to film uh, since I've gone back to work full time um, and yeah I'm just trying to figure things out um, so I hope you I hope you keep watching as I try to uh, navigate you know a fuller schedule anyway um, so yeah I'm going to show you guys what I've done so far uh, for my uh, March planner and then I'm going to show you guys uh, how I'm setting up my weekly uh, layout. And um, I'm also gonna show you guys uh, a new little, uh, a, a few new little things that I have. This first one is the Xyron um, sticker maker. And I'll show you guys that. And I have some stuff here that I'm going to make into stickers. Um, and then I'll show you guys um, a few other things that I've purchased uh, through Amazon um, and so yeah let's get to it okay so um, we're gonna start off with what my um, leather is for the month of March so this is a b6 slim and this month I'm using the designs by planner perfect leather and candy and it's just really gorgeous um, I'm gonna sort of bring it up closer to you um, it's almost this like mulberry color. Uh, I, I think you can tell like through the sort of raw edge of the leather here, what color it is. It's really beautiful, like mulberry color. And, um, but it's got a lot of texture to it. So you see that or hear it really. And um, it's just has like a, almost like a white wash on it. And so you can see the mulberry in parts of it, but um, it's kind of washed out with this white um, treatment to it. And it just makes a beautiful leather. It also has just this really cool texture that I don't have in anything else uh, that is leather. Um, and it's just really beautiful. Um, it's got the spine here and you can see the stitching is that mulberry color to match that and um, it does have a little pin loop here and then i also have a Rytec 0.5 millimeter um, pen here um, and i've been liking those it's got a really fine well not super fine i guess there's a 0.3 millimeter as well but um, 0.5 is good for me. I also have this little charm here and it's really beautiful. Uh, it's got a little gold um, butterfly and then these little beads. Um, they're kind of like raw, natural looking beads. They're not like perfect little beads, which I actually really, really love. Um, and yeah, there's like a light blue, a lavender, an orange, a, a really light springy green, and then like a pearl color and a light pink, um, all with this really pretty gold. Um, so that was my charm that I purchased. I think I got it from, let me see who I got it from. I got it on Etsy from Doozle Designs. So um, I can link it down below just so you can take a look at some of the other things that the shop might have. All right, so I'm gonna open up here. And I just, back here I have uh, this cute little lamb uh, tippin. And then back here I have a few other little tippins here. Just in case I need them. Okay, so here is my March book. And then, oh, oh, this is a new one for me actually. Um, so this is one of the Designs by Planner Perfect um, notebook it's a new design for her notebooks and um, i turned it into my meal planner so 
uh, I just put in here on the script meal planning, but I just love this um, this girl here. Her hair is really pretty, um, and she's drinking a little cup of coffee, and I like the little details that are on her wrist there. And the back is a pretty like um, leopard with pink and black, um, like a really pale pink. And then I have the journal as well. Um, and I've been using it for um, a sort of Bible study and also just like my uh, sermon notes. Um, and but look at the back of that. Isn't that really pretty? The green butterflies. Yeah. So there's that. So I brought this uh, planner out and I'm going to show you. How I set up my uh, the goals pages. I really liked the way this came out, um, but I'm gonna sort of zoom in here. There we go. Okay. So um, using my little Xyron sticker maker, I went ahead and went on a Canva, and I just um, selected certain. Um, clip art basically that uh, went with my goals. And so my first one is a little pair of passports. Oh, I just realized it's upside down. <laughs> um, but it says, um, one of my goals here is to apply for our passports for this month. Um, and then here's a little picture of our pet of a patio. And my goal here is to prepare our outdoor patio to enjoy for the spring. Um, down here, I have a Another goal, which is bring out spring decor. And I put on here like pillow covers, dining table and setting that up for, with spring decor. Um, that includes like, uh, our table's kind of old, so it's got dings and scratches and stuff. So I usually use like a really, um, I just use tablecloths. I have multiple ones, but um, I'm gonna bring out the ones that are more spring-like. And, um, and we also use cloth napkins, so um, I'm gonna bring those out as well. Um, and then I also put in here spring essential oils. Um, I like to use essential oils from a company called Eden's Garden. Um, and they have really, really nice ones without being very expensive. Um, and then, oh, I also put on here Bath and Body Works hand soaps and sprays and um, we're trying to stay away from candles um, just because of the the soot and all that sort of stuff. It's not good to breathe in all that, um, the candles and all that. Although I just love the way they smell. Uh, we just read it wasn't that good for you. So we're going to try to sort of get into it, the, the good springy scents through the essential oils instead of candles. Um, and then I'm um, changing out our bedding um, for a more spring-like um, sort of feel to it. The other thing here is um, I want to transition into my spring wardrobe. Um, and there are, I usually like to go through my, um, my wardrobe pretty much every time the I would say spring, summer, and then fall, winter. So I don't really want to have sweaters in my um, in my closet that um, I'm not going to use or jackets and things like that. So I, I try to do that. Although um, I did this last weekend and then of course the following week it was really cold. Well, for Texas, especially in March. Um, it was like in the 50s and the 40s and um, that was no fun. But anyway, I did leave a few things, a few long sleeves and vests and things like that, that I could just easily sort of, um, use in case it gets cold. And I think we're almost out of it probably by this coming week. Um, I also put a little goal here, uh, yoga to practice yoga daily to help with flexibility and mobility. And then I put on here yoga with Adrian and the Peloton app. Here's my second page of goals. Um, and so I just put a little picture here. It says book club. It's kind of hard to read that from 
where you are, but it says book club and we're discussing The Silent Patient. That was a really good book. Um, I really liked it. So if you got, if you're looking for a sort of, I would say mystery thriller type book, it was really good. The first half, I would say the first three quarters of the book was kind of telling you about this uh, story and then like everything happened in the last 25% of the book. So it was kind of interesting, but um, it did keep me interested uh, enough to get to the end. So, but it, I liked it. I would give it a four out of five stars personally. Um, I want to continue with my Bible reading. I am a little bit behind. I want to say with the year in the Bible reading plan, um, I'm probably like maybe a week behind, so it's not too too bad. Um, and I can I can catch up, no problem. The other thing is um, I like to listen to the podcast that corresponds to the year in the in the Bible uh, reading plan, um, so that sometimes when I read certain things I I don't understand what they're talking about and I like that the podcast kind of sort of um, give more insight than what I understand and uh, but yeah I, I like that and I'm trying to keep up with both of them so right now like I said I'm about a week behind so it's not too bad um, and then in my women's group uh, at church, we're doing the Ruth Bible study. And that is a beautiful Bible study through the Daily Grace Company. Um, and it's we just did week one and it was really, really nice. I really enjoyed it. Maybe I'll show you that guys that someday. Um, get back to daily journaling. Um, and then family s'mores night is another goal I had. And then right now the... Texas blue bonnets are out and they're just so beautiful. Um, so I want to take some pictures with them. And at my church, they do have uh, quite a few blue bonnets that are out there. Um, so I think I might do that maybe next week. Okay, so now let's go to my weekly layout here. And I'm just going to write in some of the uh, things that I got going on for this week. All right, so here is my daily layout. And I have. Um, use some washi tape and since um the washi tapes that we received through the subscription box from planner perfect for the month of march was a lot of um let's see we had like a little green plaid and we also had some um oh that was last year's actually um the little rainbows um i'm still using this coming month i mean this coming week and then uh, the little clovers, the little four leaf clovers, um, I'm kind of putting those aside for this coming week. And you can tell that I didn't really use my planner last, last week because it was spring break for my son. And um, yeah, I just, I didn't really use it. Um, I, it's not like I was off from work or anything, but my parents were here and I don't know if anyone finds it hard to plan things when there's Mm, a lot of people involved like I don't like to control people or anything like that um so I mean I just had you know dinner and dinner ideas and sort of general things but nothing like specific in here um but yeah anyway um I'm gonna write in what we got going on for the week of um uh, March 20th through the 26th. So Monday is the first day of spring, you guys. So I'm gonna put on here, first day of spring. And I have a, a pretty little uh, sticker from last year's um, box and it says, hello spring. So really cute. I put that on here and I also put it on uh, Monday's uh, daily page. Then um, down here, I'm gonna put on here 6 p.m. chakra practice. So that's new for my son. He's been doing soccer. I think this is their, this will be their third week. We didn't do any of soccer or games or anything like that um, the week of a spring break. So 
Uh, we'll be back at it on, on Monday. On Tuesday, I have an appointment with my um, surgeon. He did my surgery. So let me put on here, Dr. Santhion appointment. So it's just a follow up. And um, I'm gonna put on here just because Um, my work hours. I'm going to put it, my work hours on here because usually I work from 8 to 5 but because I have my doctor's appointment I'm going to um, work from 8 to 3 and then on Wednesday we've got again soccer practice and then on Thursday We've got um, in the morning, uh, oh, I already wrote it on here, my son's student-led conference there at school, so that'll be really nice. And then I work from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And let's see what else on Thursday, oh, 7.30. And we have our couples life group um, through our church. So that's good. And then on Friday, um, oh yeah, when we got in the morning, it's 7.30, so bright and early, um, I've set up pre-op testing just some testing that my um, surgeon needs before I have my pre-op appointment with him. So just like EKG, blood work, stuff like that. And then um, at seven, we've got a game. And then on Saturday, it's just the community bulk pickup. So I wanna make sure that we Remember to put stuff out if we need to. And then on Sunday, um, we've got 9.30 a.m. church. And then we've got 1 p.m. little birthday party for uh, one of my son's friends. So birthday party and then at 7 30 I've got my women's life group um, on zoom and this is through my church too so pretty pretty good week <laughs> kind of busy um and then we've got all I put in all of our temperatures already um I just looked those up before I started filming put those in I also used some cute little stickers that I had um and this time I just chose to use kind of the smaller ones uh that went with this really pretty washi tape so I'm going to show you those washi tapes they came from last last year's um boxes so here's the first one i want to say this came probably in april or something so it's really pretty i like that and then i decided to use this one that has like little red tulips really cute and then the only one i'm sort of sticking with that came in this month's uh in the march sub box is this one that has little uh rainbows um so those are the three that I'm using for this week. Um, so this is my Monday and um, yeah, I like this little sticker. Oops, it says Hello Spring. And then another little sticker over here says Make Today Matter. Here's Tuesday. Here's Wednesday. 
So I'm still using these stickers even though it says Happy Women's Day and Women's Day I think was mm, maybe March 8th or something. I'm still using the stickers because I don't want them to go to waste. There were a lot of Women's Day ones and I just didn't have enough space on it was only one day, so Let's see, I used one, two, three, and then I think I no, I didn't I didn't have space to put one over here, but anyway, I'm still using those. Isn't that uh washi tape really really pretty? I like the colors there. Um here's Thursday, and I just love this one too. It's like the cover of this book. Here's Friday. And Saturday and Sunday. So we got that. And uh, yeah, so that's my week. Um, basically every evening I will set up for the preview for the next day. That's how I do it. Um, I also want to show you guys the, the meal planning um, journal. Uh, so this is what it looks like. I've only had it for probably three. I think this is my the third week that I've had it. So it does have, uh, here, I'll show you a blank one. So it has the menu on the left side of the page with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, days of the week. Um, and then on the right side, you have a shopping list area. Um, so you also have two full um, pages here. Really, you have three. One, two, three. Uh, pages to write out your shopping list before it comes to a new week. Um, so I'll, I will say that um, I had it, I've had enough space for my list with just one page ex with the exception of like one week but that's because it was spring break week and we're gonna need a little bit more food because we're gonna be home more um, or I wasn't gonna be home, but my my husband was gonna be home, and my parents were here, and my son was here, um, so yeah, we we're just gonna need more food um, than usual. So that was like the only week that I felt like I needed that extra, you know, two pages. So this is the week one. See, I didn't write anything in here. Here is um, week two. This was last week, spring break week. Um, and so you can tell here that I did use a little bit of that third, um, or the second page really, but I just, I don't know if I would ever use that much space. So maybe a little bit of dead space. We'll see. And here is my weekly menu for this week. So I just wrote in what we're having here. Uh, and I forgot to write in Saturday and Sunday. But um, I do have it listed. And then we have a lot of the stuff that I needed anyway. So I just <clears throat> wrote down what we needed there. And we had a lot of it already on hand. But yeah, I'm, I am liking it. I just think that I don't need that much space. The three pages for shopping list. But I can see why uh, it is laid out that way. Is because if you do need that second one you can't start on this page doing your menu um so they give you two full pages there sort of in between but yeah that is the book and um i don't know how many weeks there are but let's see So there are uh, enough menu and shopping lists for 20 weeks. And uh, this last one has uh, just the one page for your shopping list. 
And of course, you could write it back here as well if you need that space. But that's what um, that one looks like. Okay, so next I wanted to show you guys uh, my little Zyron machine, little sticker making machine. Um, I got this on Amazon. It was probably like $14 or $15, something like that. And uh, it came with a roll of the adhesive or the, the sticker making paper, I guess. Um, and I'll show you how that works here in a second. It's pretty easy. Um, this is the one from the Teresa Collins sort of collaboration with Zyron. Um, but yeah, I'll show you that here in a minute. Uh, what I did was I went on a Canva and I just printed out a few things that um, would correlate with the activities that I got going on for the week. Now I'm just going to um, cut uh, the little sticker, or I'm sorry, I'm going to cut around the um, the little clip art or whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to go cut this stuff and I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back and I've cut out um, all the little clip arts that I um, used from Canva. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and use the little machine here. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get this uh, little paper and put it in here. And then you're going to grab this part and just pull it down like that. Once it's kind of gotten past it, past this part, I will uh, go ahead and put in another one. So I'm going to put this one in here and again, like that, and another one, and I'll just keep doing that. I try to keep it in the middle of the uh, paper there. Sorry if I got out of um, frame. And the last one, just kind of pop it in there. And then I'm going to go until the little sticker has cleared the uh, little area where you um, cut it and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, I'm just going to get my little little card that I use to wash uh, cut washi tape and I'm just going to sort of rub that like that Just make sure it's all good to go. And then, um, so you have this little long strip that you have. And um, in some areas, you might have a little bit of like lost space. And I tried to, sorry, there's a really loud plane passing by. Okay, sorry about that plane passing by if you heard it. Um, anyway, I tried to um, use like the dead space here and I was like, oh, okay, maybe I'll just put a little sticker here. But I think once you take this off, once you take this little clear portion off, it, nothing will stick. Like this isn't sticky anymore. Now this is sticky, if that makes sense. So I think before you press on it, the adhesive is on this white portion and not the sticky portion. But once it goes through the little uh, sort of compression machine, I guess, compression, either 
through when you rub it, um, that's when, see like now this is not sticky at all. See, my finger doesn't get stuck at all. And all the stickiness is on this clear part now. So I've taken all that off there. And then I just roll it up and toss it. And now you got a little, a little strip of all your stickers here. Now you could save them if you wanted to. Um, you could cut it and just kind of save them in your, in like a little pouch or something like that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them into my journal because I know what days I'm using these for. So now I'm just gonna go down the line. So this is a pretty little clip art I found with Little Church. So I'm gonna put that here. My tummy's growling. And then um, this next one is a online, like Zoom. Oop. This next one is an online Zoom meeting a little laptop. Um, so I'm gonna put that right here. Um, and sometimes there's a little stickiness, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try to use my, um, what is this one's called? Little tweezers, sticker tweezers, I guess. And we'll see how that goes. So back on here, I printed out two of those uh, online Zoom laptop thingies because I have two meetings that are on Zoom this week. So I'm gonna put that right here. And then I printed out this. It looks like a little medical uh, clipboard and I'm gonna use that for my Friday 7, 30 a.m. very early in the morning testing <laughs> and then I printed out this one it's just got a little medical uh, clipboard with a little pink um, ribbon for breast cancer um, so I'm gonna put that on Tuesday and I think I'm gonna put it um, I think right here is actually perfect and I'm basically trying to avoid touching the sticker as much as possible because I'll show you here why. I'm going to see if it works. And then I got this little, little, oh sorry. And then I got this little student uh, behind a little uh, desk and I'm going to put him on Thursday in the morning when my son has his uh, student-led conference. So again, I'm going to use that little credit card and just kind of smoosh that down and the next one is a little party oh, sorry but just there we go cute little party party people and you can put that on Sunday I'll put that right here okay and then some little soccer kids so I'm gonna use this one. It has two little soccer players for the Friday game. And it's a late game, so I'm gonna put it sort of towards the end of the day here. And then I've got two little stickers for soccer practice. So, isn't that cute? So, um, he's got practice on Wednesday. I'm gonna put it right around here. And last little sticker here is the same one I just put on, but I'm gonna put it on Monday for the first practice of the week. Oops. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, so on these stickers, um, I tried not to touch them because I noticed that on uh, my goals pages that I showed y'all earlier. And you can tell here, look, I'm gonna separate the pages cause they're kind of, the stickers that I have here have a little adhesive 
that seems to have gotten on the edge of the stickers. And so here, like you can hear it again. They're just the tiniest bit sort of stuck to the page. So anyway, I'm gonna see if not touching the stickers and using little tweezers instead to place them helps out with that. So let's take a look at that. I don't know if it will, but we'll, we'll see. So here's that little sticker. There's that one. This one had a little tiny bit of sort of sort of stuck downness. <laughs> that one didn't seem to have any. That one had a tiny bit. Oh, and then look. So that one has some too. And it's like I can rub it and some of the adhesive is like really I don't know, like it just kind of rubs off. I don't think it's that big of a deal. We're gonna, this is the first, actually, I think I tried using my stickers for the first time last week. Um, so here's one, here's another one. Yeah, I'll let you know how I like them, but so far I thought it'd be kind of cool. Um, because then I could get stickers for whatever I wanted to use stickers for without having to buy them. And I just had to buy, buy this kind of paper that goes with the little machine. But yeah, um, I hope you guys, uh, liked this week's, um, plan with me. It was a little different and, um, I'm also going to show you the little clips of some, um, new items that I got that are sort of planner, planner type items. Um, and um, yeah, so I'll put those in, the, in this video as well. I hope you guys have an awesome week and I will hopefully see you um, next week. I'll see you later, bye. So I wanted to show you a new planning product that I purchased. This is a reusable sticky back a weekly layout here um, and I'm going to use it to communicate between me and my husband um, our weekly menu so um, it has a little section up on top where you can write in the week of and then a little note section on the right side of it where you can write in things that maybe you uh, run out of throughout the week and that way at the end of the week, you've got your list of stuff that uh, you need to add to your grocery list. And um, I am using the um, not dry erase markers, uh, but wet erase markers. They're a little bit different. And basically, I'm using the wet erase markers so that whenever I'm writing, I'm not going to be like smudging or smearing stuff as if my hand sort of runs over something like that I had previously written, um, I will need to like spray it down with water or some sort of cleaner to wipe it off. Um, and I've, I've been liking the markers. They were a little bit hard to find, but I can link some down below. Um, I ended up getting them, I think at Walmart. Uh, but yeah. Um, my husband's the primary cook in our family, and so sometimes I would plan our meals for the week, and then I'd forget to tell him what we're <laughs> what he's going to be making that day. And so, yeah, I, I recently found this one on Amazon, and uh, it came with a three-pack bundle. It came with this weekly planner, the monthly planner as well, that I'll show you in a little bit and then a to-do list. And I think everything was like maybe $30, something like that. We've been really liking it and um, yeah, it's been super helpful. All right, here is the monthly uh, layout um, and you've got the ability to basically um, customize your whole month here. Um, so I'm just kind of showing you what we got going on this week here. Um, and I'm just going to sort of update some information on the soccer game my son has. 
and yeah really been liking it it's a way for us to just increase uh, communication and know what we've got going on for the week i'm gonna go ahead and link this in the description down below i hope you enjoyed watching thanks so much bye bye